pretend it's a clock. Right about 10 o'clock, you'll see Golgotha. Right there where Golgotha is, is apparently where this cave system was that Jeremiah hid it. If you read Jeremiah 27, it says, The nation and kingdom that will not serve the same Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon, that nation will I punish. Jeremiah knew full well they were supposed to surrender to Nebuchadnezzar. The king didn't want to do it, and they didn't do it, so they ended up being killed, most of them, taken kept it. So, Jeremiah took the temple furniture, apparently, outside the city wall in a cave system, a tunnel system, out to underneath where today is Golgotha, where Jesus was crucified. Ron Wyatt was a good friend of mine. He died in 99, but he did a lot of research over there, and he says that he actually saw the Ark of the Covenant. I get people that criticize me for even mentioning Ron Wyatt. Well, I think he did good work, and you ought to, you ought to read what he's done, read his research. He says the Ark of the Covenant was there in a box made of like a big stone uh, case, and it was sealed up in a, a, a room. They, you know, uh, found this it's sort of like a big sponge over there. This cave system is pretty uh, spread out, and he saw the Ark of the Covenant. He said all it had was the Ten Commandments in it, nothing else. I talked to Ron in 1982, uh, in January 82. Ron claims he found the Ark. I spent several hours talking to Ron. I said, Ron, you realize how, how far-fetched this sounds? He said, Brother Hoven, if you were telling me, I wouldn't believe you. He said, but. It happened, I'll tell you. He said, I brought the Jewish authorities. I told them what I found. They haven't touched it. They're afraid to touch it. They learned from a guy named Uzzah years ago in First Chronicles when Uzzah touched the ark and God killed him. So they haven't touched it, but they do know it's there, and they're going to bring it out as soon as they're ready. Uh, you can see the WyattMuseum.com website if you want to get more on the Ark of the Covenant. Next question. What about Bigfoot? Well, I have talked to 10 people now who've told me face to face they have seen a Bigfoot. Todd Jurassic, friend of mine from Oklahoma, has done incredible research on Bigfoot. You can get a hold of Todd. He's writing a book about the creature. Uh, he's interviewed many folks who claim they've seen one. It appears that the Patterson film may be a fake. I don't know. They said somebody confessed that you know they were dressed up in an ape suit and all that stuff. I don't know. But there have been an awful lot of sightings that are pretty hard to explain that appear to be something like a Bigfoot. I don't know what it is, but here are the theories. Some people say they're all hoaxes or misidentified. That certainly could be true. I don't know. There are many stories that simply can't be explained, I don't think, as hoaxes or misidentified. They seem to be pretty reliable sightings with hard to explain things like deep footprints that a person couldn't make unless he weighed 600 pounds. By the way, who in their right mind would run around the woods in an ape suit? Do you realize how many rednecks would love to shoot one of those things and bring it in and hang it on their wall? <laughs> I mean, that's just not smart, okay? I don't think they're all just uh, hoaxes or frauds, though some probably are. Second theory says they're an unidentified species of ape. Third theory says they're some of the hippies from the 60s that haven't come in yet. They're hairy and they stink. Um, fourth theory says they're aliens from another world. I doubt that one. So bottom line is I don't know who they are. There may not even be any, but if there's a Bigfoot, I think it'd be interesting to find one and put it in my museum. We'd, we'd take good care of it, you know, feed it and all that stuff. Next question, who were the Nephilim in Genesis chapter 6? Genesis 6 says, Men began to multiply in the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them. And the sons of God, mentioned 11 times in the Bible, saw the daughters of men, that they were fair, and they took them wives of all which they chose. 